You guys are really getting to be a habit, aren't you? Hi, Bo. Hey. Papa! Hey, sailor. You were wondering where you were. Oh? Yeah, this little guy's anxious to get home. Dr. Horton dropped the release papers by. Oh, great. Hey. Nice picture. <laughs> I would have been by sooner, but I, I had something to take care of. Thanks for keeping him company. Bo, did you find the release forms? Yeah, got them right here, Doc H. Well, well, it looks as though our boy is about ready to blow the joint. Is that the expression? <laughs> That'll do. We'll get these processed as soon as possible. At least before this visiting dignitary gets here. Oh. Thanks a lot for all the trouble you've gone through. Sean, say bye-bye to Grandpa. How about a little, a little hug? Very little one. <laughs> you realize that eventually he's going to get back to the hospital for that ear operation. Yeah. And he needs to build up his strength a little bit. You need to be here full time for him. I will be. You know what? Oh, I've got a great idea. Um, I've pretty much got things under control here. What do you say I go back to the boat with you guys, huh? Sort of like a link between the hospital and home. With your permission, of course, Dr. Horton. Well, I think it's a great idea. Yeah. I'll cover for you. Okay, good. Well, bye-bye. 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 What's the matter? I understand why Sean Douglas wants you around, but there's something I don't understand. What's in it for you? Why do you want to hang out with us? Be found. Just remind me, if we ever get out of this, I never want to speak to you again. Just remember that. Consider yourself reminded. Remind me that I hate heights. I hate them. I, 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 I hate them. I, I, I hate them. I hate them. Just hold it. Yes, I agree. Gotcha. Okay. If she's not found soon, we may have to resort to, to, well, more extreme measures. But we will have her back. Just no matter what we do. Oh, look at your face now. Which, you finally just realize there's nothing between us and a cold, hard ground, but a little bit of... Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So I'm not complaining, not complaining. All right, you're right. I know what you're talking about. I know. Hey, hey wait a minute. Wait a minute. Stop fast. Stop about being straight with people. It's time for you to start being straight with me. What are you trying to hide from me now, huh? What are you trying to hide? You know, you're making a big deal out of nothing. Am I? Yes, you are. I, I like spending time with Sean Douglas. I like helping kids. That's why I do it. Satisfaction from doing a good deed. Yeah, exactly. But you know, if you'd rather I not stay with you tonight... Then well, you're... I think we can handle it. Thanks for the offer, but no thanks. Hi. Hey. Honey. It's time for me to say goodbye. Don't go. Papa, I want her to come with us. Please tell her to stay. Will you come with us? You sure? Make up your mind. He wants you to come home. I don't want to disappoint him. But I still want to know what's going on. Oh, I just care about him. Isn't that enough? Maybe. Cardi, are you coming help Papa and me? Mm -hmm. I am. You know what? And we can color, and we can go to the park. Would you like a color scene? story. So do I, sailor. So do I. Oh. Hey, you sleep tight. Don't let the big bugs bite. It's so peaceful out here. I can see why you like living on a boat. It's Makes you feel so apart from everything, like nothing out there can touch you in here. It's just 
hard to believe there are tankers going up and down our river right now. Carly? Yeah? Could you stay with Sean for a while? You're gonna go out? It's his first night home. Yeah, I know, but he's tired. He should be asleep pretty soon, and something I need to take care of. I can't wait. Okay, I'm a little surprised, though, that you trust me with him after everything that you've said. Yeah, well, me and my big mouth. Thanks for the favor. Mm -hmm. Told me. Oh, you're supposed to be in New York right now. I couldn't leave knowing that you're in danger, and you are much more than we thought. I don't know. The man that you told me about, Warner Bear, I went to his hotel room and I hid you. Dude, what? Look, never mind that, okay? The important thing is, is that I heard him say that if they don't find you soon, they're going to take extreme measures. They've been looking in all the hospitals in Salem. I mean, they would have found you already if you didn't bring Sean Douglas home. That's just lucky for me. I can hear them, right? But you have to leave right away, like tonight. Luke, yeah, Irina. I've actually considered it, Jennifer, okay? But I can't leave Salem right now. Those men are everywhere. I've outmaneuvered them this far, right? All I have to do is keep doing it for a couple more months. A couple of months? A couple of months. On my 25th birthday, all of this will be over. Right, if you can manage to stay away from them. Okay. Jennifer, I know you're doing this for my welfare, and I appreciate that, but please don't argue with me. I'm not going anywhere. I've made up my mind, and that's all there is to it. Okay. I'll be back later. Wait, wait, Jennifer! Bye! Be all right. Yeah, this baby will do. A little work on the engine. It'll do the job just fine. Thanks. This must be really important to you. You bet it is. She managed to elude us again. Well, we'll find her. I'm telling you that Katerina will be delivered to Lawrence on her 25th birthday. <laughs>